everyone! Welcome to my channel! Ito tayo ngayon sa bahay. Kailangan maging masunurin tayo sa government officials. Uh, kaya magbablog na lang tayo no? para maging meaningful yung ating life, yung ating activities dito sa loob ng bahay. So, in this vlog, we're going to talk about what is occupational therapy, um, what are the importance of occupational therapy, and what's the difference between occupational therapy and physical therapy. Okay? So, dyan lang po kayo ha. Huwag kayong aalis. And According to one of the founders of IOTA, Dr. William Rush Dunton Jr., he described occupation as necessary to life as food and drink in 1990. While Mary Raid, during 1962, she said that man through the use of his hands as they are energized by mind and will can influence the state of his own health. The Yota defined OT as the art and science of directing men's participation in selected tasks to restore, reinforce, and enhance performance. Facilitate learning of those skills and functions essential for adaptation and productivity, diminish or correct pathology, and to promote and maintain health. They enhance the definition in April 1986, OT as the therapeutic use of self-care, work, and play activities to increase independent function, enhance development, and prevent disability. May include adaptation of task or environment to achieve maximum independence and to enhance quality of life. Now in 2020, IOTA defined OT as the only profession that helps people across the lifespan to do the things they want and need to do through the therapeutic use of daily activities or occupations. OT is a profession which helps people ranging from babies to elderly to regain as much independence as possible in their ADLs, engaging in the community, education, work, leisure, and or play. Common occupational therapy interventions include helping children with disabilities to participate fully in school and social situations, helping people recovering from injury to regain skills, and providing supports for older adults experiencing physical and cognitive changes. OT services typically include number one, an individualized evaluation during which the client or family and occupational therapists determine the person's goals for the therapy. Number two, customized intervention to improve the person's ability to perform daily activities and reach the goals. Number three, an outcome evaluation or giving progress reports to ensure that the goals are being met and or make changes to the intervention plan. Number four, comprehensive home, school, play area, and job site evaluations with adaptation recommendations. Number five, performance skills, assessments, and treatment. Number six, adaptive equipment, recommendations, and usage training, such as splints and hand reacher. Number seven, coaching to family members and caregivers for home continuing activities. OT practitioners have a holistic perspective in which the focus is on adapting the environment and or task to fit the person and the person is an integral part of the therapy team. It is an evidence-based practice deeply rooted in science. OT 
productivity both help improve a person's quality of life, but there are differences. Basically, PT focuses on restoring function, improving ability, relieving pain, and preventing or limiting permanent physical disabilities in patients with injury or disease. OT can help with these concerns, but it's the forte of physical therapy. Number one, joint range of motion. Number two, pain management through tens, hot packs, and other modalities. Number three, strength and gross motor skills. Large muscle movements made with yarns, legs, feet, or entire body through stretching, exercises, and using modalities. While OT helps with number one, fine motor skills, small muscle movements of the hands, fingers, and toes, such as grasping. Number two, perform activities of daily living, such as simulated brushing teeth. The meaningful things you do that make up each day are considered occupation. So, ayan, nadagdagan na yung kaalaman tungkol sa occupational therapy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you on my next video.